Good morning. It is Saturday, July 25th. It is the start of the TBR takedown and it is also 7 a.m. and I am tired. I just got to work and I don't think I'm gonna get much reading done at work because it's Starbucks on a Saturday. It's pretty crazy. But for my break time, I brought Nimona already strained from my TBR. What can you do? This came in my Landfall Freight box yesterday. I was really, really excited about it. So it still technically counts as like my latest haul. So this will definitely still work for one of the challenges. I also brought Monkey Mind if I'm not feeling that book, but I really want to read Nimona. I think this will probably be one of my least productive days of the redesign because right after this, I'm going to hang out with one of my old friends and get coffee with them. It's going to be a very coffee filled, productive day. So we will see how things go. Just got out of work. I feel like I am dying. It is so hot. I'm using a straw as a bookmark at the moment, but I'm at page 81 and I can definitely finish this within the day It's very like adventure time esque really really quick to get through So I'm gonna go and hang out with my friend and relax and then hopefully finish this tonight I'm just waiting to leave the house now and I am officially halfway through which is exciting It's really fast-paced and fun and just easy to get through so I'm really enjoying it it is now 10.30 at night. I just finished Nimona. I gave it three out of five stars. It was really cute. I enjoyed it. Very fast read. I really didn't have a lot of time to read at all today, but I ended up reading the whole book, so proud of myself. The coffee house I ended up going to was really cool. I really wish that I brought my camera there. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to film there, but I really wish that I did. I'm gonna celebrate reading my first book by watching some anime and going to bed, and then hopefully I'll get up tomorrow morning earlier and read some before work. Morning. It's about 7.30 a.m. and I decided to change my TBR again. I'm really just in the mood for a nice contemporary, so I'm going for Aristotle and Dante, Discover the Secrets of the Universe, and I've had this on my shelf for Ever. So I'm gonna be using it as the book that I've had on my shelf for over a year and it's pretty long But I just want to read it. So we're gonna read it I'm gonna try to get to page 100 before I have to start getting ready for work, which will be at around like 10 a.m So we'll see how it goes. Here's my cat over there burrowing into my bookshelf. There's my coffee. Here's my cereal We should be good to go. Would you like to come read? Oh, yeah, okay. So it's 10 o'clock, which means I have to get ready for work now, but I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm on page 217. I'm a little more than halfway through this book. It's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted to read at this point in time. I'm really, really happy with it. I can't believe I'm almost halfway through already. I really think that I can finish it today. So I get out of work at 4.30 and maybe that'll happen, but I'm really happy about it. The really, really good thing about this book that I'm really loving is that it's a book that I don't want to put down and I haven't had one of those books. I haven't read one of those books in a really really long time it's not even like it's the most intriguing book ever but it's just good the story is really good and I don't want to put it down and I'm really really enjoying it so it's 6 45 p.m. on Sunday and I just finished Aristotle and Dante discovered the secrets of the universe and I loved it it's completely worth the hype it's so so honest and beautiful and I just loved it and I finished it so fast I didn't realize that I finished it so fast it's like 355 pages and I read it all today I am going to shower now because I'm still gross from work and I'm gonna relax for the rest of the day and I don't know if I'm gonna read anymore if I do we'll keep you updated but it was a really good day I love reading good books like that. That was exactly what I needed. Okay, so I'm about to head out to work again. It is now Monday, July 27th, and that means it is the start of the 7 and 7 readathon. I've already read two books in the past two days for the TBR takedown, so if I could just continue reading one book a day for seven days, then I will have done amazingly in both readathons, which makes me really, really happy. So my first read for the 7 and 7 readathon is Boxers by Jean-Louis Nguyen, and then maybe I'll get to Saints as well today, hopefully. I work from 8 a.m. to 4.30, so I don't know. Wednesday is gonna be like my first day off, so I'm really excited for that. I just, I feel like I've been working a lot. <laughs> So today work really kind of sucked. I feel like it's halfway because I went in with a negative attitude and like I felt like I was working for a long time so going in again made my attitude a little bit negative going in. And then also it was busy so I wasn't able to like give myself the break that I needed and it just didn't go as well as I wanted to. It was really busy and luckily I work with really really wonderful people so they made the day a lot better but I'm still really tired and just a little bit cranky. So I made myself a drink. 
before I left. The really good thing about Starbucks is they give me the free drinks, so you gotta love that. There's also a Chinese buffet place literally right next to the Starbucks that I work at. And see if you can do this with any of the buffet places near you because I think it's so convenient. You can basically go into the buffet and pick up a tray and pick up whatever you want and then take it to go. It's the nicest thing, it's the easiest thing when you like don't know what you want for dinner that day or something. Just go to the buffet, get what you want, come on home. So I bought a bunch of stuff from the buffet and now I'm gonna go home and eat a lot of Chinese food and hopefully start Boxers from Boxers and Saints, but if not, I'm really kind of feeling monkey mind. So maybe I'll read this and then read this. I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll see what happens when I get home. I know I'm gonna be a lot less cranky when I get home. Life should be better soon. All right, so I just got home. I put on some comfy clothes. I have my food right here, books right here, drink right here. Came home to some packages. I put my air conditioner on. Soon after I eat, I'm gonna take the best shower of my life. But for now, I'm just going to relax and read and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be hosting some reading sprints, my first reading sprints. I'm excited. I'm gonna open up these packages because maybe I'll wanna read something there. I don't know. I'm really, I don't even know what I'm in the mood to read. So I saw this in the comic store the other day and I was very excited about it because it looks so pretty. It's Odyssey by Matt Fraction and Christian Ward. Matt Fraction is one of the people that writes sex criminals. It just looks beautiful and it's a retelling of the Odyssey. Very, very excited about this one. If you guys are looking for graphic novels at the moment, a lot of first volumes right now are on Amazon for $5, which is such a good deal, like a ridiculously good deal. So if you're looking for anything, please, go try and pick it up because it's worth it. Anyway though, this is East of West and this is supposed to be sort of Space Cowboy-esque. I'm excited about it. You know how I just said how it was such a good idea to go to a buffet and get everything that you want and come home with it? I always, always think that's a great idea until I come home and I eat it and I'm like, what is this greasy, Garbage. I don't know if your buffets are different. I always think it's a good idea. I don't know why I don't remember this after feeling. Ugh, that noise that you hear in the background is the air condition and I'm sorry, but I don't want to get out. The sad thing is it's literally not even 9 p.m. yet, but I'm really tired and I've been relaxing for a while and I hosted Twitter sprints for the first time ever from like 6.45 to 8 o'clock and it was so much fun and I'm just really happy that I'm like hosting along with some other really 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 wonderful people. So the 7 and 7 readathon is just going good overall as a readathon just like being a co-host has like been really really cool. As far as actually reading goes I started Boxers and Saints and I'm a little more than halfway through which is cool. I knew I was gonna feel a lot better once I got home and I showered and everything and I did. I feel so much better and just the Twitter sprints and like talking to everybody really, really helped. So in conclusion, book people are awesome and internet people are awesome and everybody is just awesome. Good morning. It is now day two, the morning of Tuesday, day two of the seven and seven readathon at 7.59 a.m., eight o'clock a.m. I have officially six hours before I have to get ready for work. I have to start getting ready for work at 2 p.m. So six hours is a good amount of time. I figured I would go get a large Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee right now, hazelnut swirl to be exact, and I would grab some sushi so I would have my lunch already with me so I can just read the entire time. That is what we're doing. And I also want to do Twitter sprints again because those are really, really fun. I decided along with finishing up Boxers and Saints today, I also want to start the dinner. I was a little iffy on if I want to start it today because I was like, I have so many other things on my TBR that I would finish a lot faster. But that's not the point. If you want to read something, just read it. Don't worry about how fast it's gonna take you. And who knows, Aristotle and Dante was 355 pages. I finished that in a day because I really enjoyed it. And if I really enjoy this book, then I'll wanna get through it faster. Check out this Breakfast of Champions that I've got going on along with my book called The Dinner. Bananas with almond butter on a sesame bagel with cinnamon on top, some mangoes and strawberries that hazelnut swirl iced coffee, ready to read. I'm on page 253 out of 297. I literally, if I had another hour, I would have finished that easily. <sighs> but it's really good so far. It's definitely, without a doubt, at least a four star for me. It's gorgeously written and I really wanna find out what's next and I'm just so angry that I have to get ready right now. But that'll get finished by tonight. It'll be the first thing that I read for the 7 and 7 readathon. And I think that's where I'm gonna wrap up this 
vlog. That feeling when your hair has been in a bun for way too long. So you've seen me read almost three things for the TBR takedown and almost one thing for the 7 and 7 readathon. And the next vlog that you'll see from me will start on Wednesday, which is the third day of the 7 and 7 readathon, and it'll last till the end of the 7 and 7 readathon. I'm just trying to break them up a little bit. So I hope you guys have been having fun reading and doing whatever you do in the summer. I hope you've been having a nice time. A new video that's not going to be a vlog is going to come up rather soon because I want to talk to you guys about a few different things that I want to do during August. So definitely keep a look out for that. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye.